alive and in humongous color from west of the Rockies. It's Let's Make It Bacon with Ace, and have I lost my mind? Well, lost is past tense, so uh, yes, that's correct. Um, uh, yeah, oodles and noodles. Am I going to the pool? Oh yeah. Gonna have a dip in the pool of life. No, I'm not going to the pool. But uh, yeah, I, I found myself a... Uh, a rockin' sock'em jetpack of a deal um, at the family dollar here locally. Had these pool noodles, and where as uh, at the Dollar Tree, they were a dollar twenty-five. Well, at the family dollar, they were only a buck. Well, why did I buy a billion pool noodles? What am I going to use these for? Very, very good question. And that's insulation. I'm installing new PEX piping in the in the motor home in the RV and it needs to be insulated. I'm doing a completely different route uh, on the piping than, I, uh, than, than what the motorhome comes with uh, because where the pipes go for the motorhome now, well, that, uh, that, that can't be winterized and actually used. You can winterize it and store it, but you can't use it in the winter because the, uh, the pipes run along the side of the uh, of the motorhome, so they're on the, the the most external part of the motorhome that you can possibly get. So you want to talk about uh, easy freeze? Yep, that would be the case. Um, and so we're not doing that. We're going to be doing something different. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that's that's kind of the deal with that. Uh, I've got a bunch of uh, PEX fittings uh, coming in tomorrow before 10 p.m. Amazon says. A bunch of elbows, a bunch of T's, a bunch of uh, connectors, blah 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 blah. And in the next couple days, you know, after I receive those, I'll uh, get started on that project, and then I'll show you really what those pool noodles uh, are going to be used for. Um, but uh, as for today's video, it's not going to have anything to do with pool noodles. Um, it's going to have to do with painting. New paint. Um, so, decided, well, I can't just let it be. I was going to let just let it be, leave the cabinets the way they were, blah, blah, blah. Couldn't do it. Tried, tried, tried again, failed miserably. Uh, my mind says, no, nah, you can't do that. You got to you gotta make it a home. You got to make it so that it doesn't just just work. It needs to be, it needs to feel like home because I don't want to have to have it not feel like home and then be, once again, a construction site in the middle of uh, trying to fix up an 1890s house. That just isn't going to work. So, ta-da! Um, first trial uh, failed. Uh, not the painting part, but the color part. Not happy with it. Um, I've got two gray colors. This I'm going to be using for the walls. I have a darker color that I'm going to be using for the cabinetry cabinetry and maybe doors i'm not sure yet but uh let me show you let me show you what uh what i'm looking at here be right back every light in the motor home is on oh not not all most of them though all right so yeah man i'm just you know i just sometimes you just gotta punish yourself just gotta punish yourself and be like you know I don't want to just live with it. I want to make it so that it, my life is hard for a, a, a period of time to make it better in the long term. So, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Oh, laughing at myself. Wee bit crazy. So, what are we going to be doing, ladies and gentlemen? So, this is an example of what the wall color is going to be, which is the same as the cabinets you just saw. And then the cabinets are going to be painted a darker color here. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's going to be all good in the neighborhood. Um, I'm going to try to dig out my GoPro uh, and do some filmage with it. Reason being is this camera on the phone, it just really can't capture enough uh, to be able to, to you know really show... A before and after kind of thing. I got an old GoPro that I got back in the day. Back when I was a young man. Yeah, a lot of people still say I'm a young man, but hey. 
yeah so but these are the cabinets that i'm going to be painting gosh i'm so dumb oh hey sometimes you got to do the dumb so what have i done so far so the the ceiling I call it the roof, but it's the roof roof ceiling. I've already done uh, up into that point, and you can actually see a, uh, a divergence, a demarcation, uh, is what it's also could be called. So this is white, white. It's hard to tell with the light. It's really impossible. All right, it's yellow. It's it's yellow. Oh, there we go. Can, I, can you see with that? Boy, you can barely see. This camera sucks for showing the difference. But painted the ceiling. Um, so you know, I've so I've done this before. Not this in particular, but painting in a house. And uh, you know, I paint the cabinets and paint the the you know lower stuff, and then. Oh, I need to paint the ceiling, then paint the ceiling, and then I got to repaint parts of the cabinets because it splashed. This time I got, you know, got to, got to get smart sometimes, um, or sometime, and so I uh, got smart sometime, and uh, yeah, yeah, I painted the ceiling. So that's done. So today, for ease of job, I guess you could say, and uh, and full fullness and completeness of job. Uh, I'm going to be painting the cabinets off of the hinges. Um, I will um, remove the cabinets uh, from the hinges, but the doors, not the, not the whole cabinet, but I'll be removing the doors um, off these cabinets and we'll be then taking them to the out of doors to put on a table to make uh, painting a little bit easier. Um, for me, uh, you know, it's it's one of those things, you know, it's more pain in the butt to take them off and put them back on and so on and so forth. However, uh, I feel like I can do a better job, more more uh, layers and uh, better lighting to ensure that I, I have full coverage um, with this. Because that's the thing about these uh, LED lights. For some reason, they don't uh, do not do very well at being able to see, you know, what... Uh, what the real deal is with uh, some of this this cabinetry, um, but I got plastics um, down. looks looks like a you know a mess because it is, and uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and uh, uh, it's it's kind of interesting, but the color scheme on this front thing is here is really close in a lot of ways. Not not quite, but really close to what I'm going to be doing with. The, uh, the walls and the cabinets because uh, the and it's not going to be so so this color here is actually lighter for what I have and this color I have I believe is also lighter but it's the same kind of difference in gray so very interesting very very interesting that way um, and uh, yeah it's it's all good in the neighborhood um, and that's uh, but that's kind of the color scheme that I'm going to be um, looking at uh, for all of that jazz but I'm going to get started and I'll show you once I have an update. All right, so I've been painting for a good portion of the day. Taking cabinets off, painting them, all that jazz. Painting uh, the, that's not a cubicle. That one's got a booth. <laughs> Kitchen uh, cabinets above the range. So yeah, yeah, quite a bit, uh, quite a bit done, and then also got a layer of the darker paint on the bathroom cabinetry. But yeah, as you can see, you know it's. Uh, it's funny because it's it's not quite, but looking at it in the camera at least, yeah, even in regular life, the color of the cabinets is really close to that one there. Um, under the cabinets was a pain, huge pain in the canister. Um, but 
the real pain is yet to come. And that's going to involve painting the, uh, the walls because there's a lot of round and round, you know, round windows, round cabinets, so on and so forth that I'll have to do. So it's going to be pretty in depth. Got the above painted, got the door around the door painted. But yeah, yes, that's uh, that's it. But yeah, the, the rest of the walls are going to be the same color as this. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, yeah, you can. You know, there's a decent difference. Not huge in the camera. It's larger difference between the two colors, wall color and cabinet color in real life here. But yeah, that's it. But even though it's a little bit uh, before beer 30, I am pretty dang exhausted from all this painting, so I'm probably going to kick out for the day, but let me show you the cabinet uh, faces, cabinet doors. And then here are the uh, the cabinet doors. Took the razor blade and cut, uh, cut off any, because this is a particle board, so cut off any of the high, high spots that had been created by uh, water. Um, Looks like I've got some touch-up maybe to do on that, but overall they don't look too bad. See, they look better than the original. <laughs> so, but we'll let them dry overnight, um, and then I'll probably end up just moving them to a better location. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's where that's at. Yeehaw. But uh, yeah, so that's all for today. And uh, I'll follow up with you again tomorrow and show you an update on the progress.